Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform data-driven testing in Postman using a JSON file. So I have the sample post data API in which they have this payload which has user ID, title and body. And if I hit this API, we get 201 created response and in the body we get these details which is user ID, title, body and ID. Let's say you have to create 100 posts using this API. How will you do that? So you have to do it manually by passing user ID, title and body. So we know that will be really tedious task. So what we can do, we can do data driven testing. So if we can send multiple requests using the different set of data. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use JSON file to perform the data driven testing here. So for that, I have the sample JSON file. It contains the object. Each object over here represents a data set for our test, which is including the user ID, title, and body. Now, what we will do in order to run this, first we have to map the keys over here. So what you have to do, you have to pass the same key which you have passed in your JSON file and you have to pass that in the curly brackets. So similarly, I will prepare my whole payload. This is my sample payload in which what I have done, added user ID, title, and body, and this is the same key like we have passed in our JSON file. In order to run this, you have to go to your collection just click on the three dots and then click on the run collection. So this is the same approach which we saw for CSV. So here, just select your API. So our API name is post data. Now click on select file and choose your JSON file from the local machine. You can also click on the preview. So here, if you see the user ID, title and body, it is exactly matching with the one we have in our JSON file. Now, what you can do, just click on run test API. It will be executed for all the files. You can see the 201 created status. Now, in case you want to see the request and response also for that, you can just click on console tab. And here you can see the logs for each call. For example, for the first call, if we see the request body, so we have user ID 120 and title and body as well. So this is same what we have passed in our JSON file, which is user ID is 120. And in case if you want to see the response also, you can see response. This is 120. And for this, we are getting the ID as 101. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you find the content useful. And if you really like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.